Number five in the cognitive distortions playlist and things to start looking for in yourself so that you can uh, be aware of these common <clears throat> biases or distortions and, and keep taking that step toward a more mature rational mind um, wisdom uh, is the halo effect. Uh, this one is when you judge uh, based on how much you like someone or how attractive you find that person, the other person will determine how readily you accept their argument or, or believe them. This is called the halo effect. Uh, this is exactly why most uh, news anchors or people that deliver the media to us in this country are uh, objectively uh, attractive or uh, above average on an objectively um, uh, attraction scale. That's that's done on purpose. If the media is feeding you a narrative uh, or if somebody's trying to sell you something, they make sure that uh, they use the halo effect to to their uh, best advantage. Um, <clears throat> that's why we, you know, every time you see advertisement uh, that's geared toward men, uh, trucks, golf clubs, um, where to eat, where to go, it's almost always accompanied by a, a female in a bikini. Uh, this is the halo effect. Men are going to tend to believe, well, I like that Chevy truck more than that Ford truck because the Chevy truck, uh, they don't even realize this because there was a, a, a blonde in a, in a small blue bikini next to the truck and then uh, you benefit from the halo effect. <clears throat> the halo effect can also be, um, well, we'll get to this a little bit later about uh, ref uh, referencing authority uh, as a bias, but uh, the halo effect is if you like someone, you're going to tend to believe more what they say if they're personable and um you make a connection with them and or uh, however attractive you find them. So beware of the halo effect. One of the things I learned uh, to combat this a long time ago in my um, my Buddhist, uh, my Zen Buddhist training with uh, Chung Wal Sinim is to, and this is kind of gross, but imagine, let's say um, somebody you find very attractive is coming up and they're trying to sell you something. In order to maintain... <clears throat> an objective state of mind, you could imagine that person as a festering corpse uh, because everybody's made of meat and bone, eventually they'll die and become gross. And typically that will allow your mind to uh, overcome the halo effect and make more informed, um, unbiased decisions. It's a little gross, we'll go into that in a longer video, but I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. <clears throat> Beware the halo effect. <clears throat> 